Three, two, one. <laughs> arguing again, arguing about something so simple. Make it clear, tell me why you're running back to him. Feeling insecure, feeling like. Coming in to talk about on a sunbeam real quick. I haven't finished it yet. I am that far. Um, but I love it. It's so pretty and the story is amazing and heart-wrenching and also optimistic. I feel a lot of things. I'm very happy. I tend to read at you could say inappropriate times. Not like the it's not like I'm not like reading when I'm supposed to be like I don't know. I don't know. But I was at um, our like sports banquet like like recognition ceremony type thing and I was reading in the audience there cuz I really wanted to read this. When I was reading, I got to a really tense part and I was like the emotions of like trying to keep it together when I'm like ah, 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 ah. so this is my space to go ah, ah, ah. what the fuck that was all but I'm on page 415 now things there's so many things that happened oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god spoilers um with Elliot when they talk for the first time I'm like, what? Also, when they whisper something to Mia and it gets cut off the top. Absolute masterpiece. That is, that is amazing. Um, Cause that's the first time we see them talk. Um, but then they sit down with their, I'm not sure how they're related to this person. Um, so they sit down with somebody and they're having like a full fledged conversation with this person. And I'm like, oh my God, like this must be really really important or something I don't know I don't know but 10 out of 10 what is on my headphones is that marshmallow okay that was all Mwah. see you in the next clip and this is only fair now go ahead and let your head down place the flowers under your hair to care about anything you used to care about when you want to smile i'll be there and this is only fair now go ahead and let your hair down place the flowers into your hair you don't have to care about anything you used to care about when you want to smile i'll be there hi y'all got my first in-person final is in t minus two days so that's fun we're sitting here at the library in a little conference room and I'm going to talk about the books I borrowed. Um, I'm here to return them, so I was like, let me quickly make a video about it. On a sunbeam. Oh goodness gracious, I love this. I will be buying a copy of this graphic novel because it's amazing. It's so beautiful and I'm still thinking about it, which I heard is like a sign of a good book, you know, if you're still thinking about it. So I'm really excited. Um, I want to get this one sometime soon, uh, but I have to return it today. I'll be sad to part with it. Girl, uh, the girl from the sea. This one's cute. I feel like if I was like in middle school, I'd be obsessed with this. Alas, I am not. Um, it was cute. I'm not really that emotionally attached to any of the characters. But I finished it in one sitting. It was cute. Name me, smile at certain pages. Yeah, I'm not very emotionally invested in like any of the characters, which kind of sucks, which like comparing on a sunbeam, like I'm so invested in every single one of these characters. I love them so much. Versus this one, they're like, yeah, they're cute. That's all I got. Blue Olympus. So actually this one kind of surprised me. I read the webtoon. I've read the entire webtoon. I still like, keep up with the updates, you know. Um, but when I was reading the beginning again, I was like, this is kinda, it's not bad per se, but it's kinda like, eh. It's like the kind of like insta-love type vibe. Like Hades is instantly in love with uh, Persephone or Persephone, I don't really know how to pronounce her name, TBH. She's like, he's like instantly in love with her. And it's just, mm. I want to read the other volumes because I want to like see when it gets better, because I remember, like, but has it gotten better? I don't really know. Like, right now I read it because I enjoy it and I'm this far in. 
you know? Um, and lots of things have changed, lots of things have happened. But yeah, this is weird. And like, it makes me think of all the plot lines of her life that kind of just got thrown away. I can see why I was hyped in the beginning because like, cool concept. It's a really cool concept, but it's just kind of, it's kind of mid, I'm sorry to say. It's kind of mid, but it's really pretty. And that gives it points. I thought I would like want to buy this because I really liked the webtoon, like, but also I read the webtoon when I was first like beginning of the pandemic, so I was in the trenches. I read this when I was in the trenches. I don't know. It was emotional support, but I think I'm I think I'm done. I think I'll keep reading it because you know, I like to I love I live for the drama, okay? Okay. I don't wanna be in the drama, but I love hearing about it. But yeah, overall, mid. I'd give it like three stars. I don't know what I, I haven't rated it, rated it on Goodreads because I didn't have anything to like say about it yet, but I have things to say now. So I will, I mean on Goodreads, on Storygraph. I don't use Goodreads, I use a Storygraph. But I kind of say Goodreads to mean Storygraph, which is about, I'll fix that. Okay, hi, reporting back from my dorm room. I had more things to say about Laura Olympus than I thought of, or I was thinking of when I was read it, when I read it and now I want to talk about it. I'm sorry if this is your favorite and I'm coming for its neck, but I said what I said. Um, I think that some of the pages, like the composition of the like squares and circles and like comic strip vibes, like you could tell that this was made for a webtoon and then just kind of like turned into a graphic novel because some of the pages were like, very like you could tell this was like made for a webtoon there wasn't a lot going on like visually like they did not take advantage of the different format that a graphic novel offers you which is annoying and i'm thinking about heartstopper because i've read the graphic novel and i've also read it on webtoon and the vibes like yes they're the same but like it makes it fit the graphic novel format a lot better and the like graphic novels versus on the webtoon. Like, I think Laura Olympus is better read as a webtoon than in a hardcover book format. I also think the composition for uh, The Girl from the Sea, that graphic novel, that one, also was kind of like, it was, it was fit, it fit a lot better. Like you could tell it was made as to be a graphic novel, but the composition was kind of boring. Like nothing interesting were, was happening. Like they weren't doing cool things that I can remember. There was nothing, there was not a lot of cool stuff going on. Versus on a sunbeam, I will sing on a sunbeam's praises till I die. I loved the composition of it. Like the way that it fades and shifts and the little like, it's like, it looks like ink sometimes, like someone spilled ink or like a thought bubble that's more crawly and like creepy. The composition's very, very nice. 10 out of 10. Um, I think a book that did it, a graphic novel that did it better, maybe, I haven't read it in a while, is American Born Chinese. I think they did a really good job with the composition of their pages. I was a big fan, but also I haven't read that in a while. So I need to probably fact check that, but <laughs> I liked it when I read it. So yeah, those are more thoughts. Um, anyways, that's my thoughts on my graphic novels that I read, even though I'm done with graphic novels and final season isn't over yet. But I need to return them before I went home because you can't take library books home. But to get in my library soapbox, I, what if I bought Laura Olympus and I was like, wow, this is mid, I'm never reading this again. I would've just had an extra book just laying around doing nothing, doing absolutely nothing. Check out your local library. Also, I read so much more because I go to the library and I just pick up a bunch of books. Like when I get bored in class sometimes, I'll go on to like the library's um, website and I'll like reserve a bunch of books and it's like, I'm going shopping, <laughs> but it's free. Also, most libraries have like a section, or maybe not most, but this one does, has a section at the front where it's just like a bunch of books that have been donated and you can just get a book for $2. I got The Vanishing Half from there. I got Where the Crawdads Sing. And I saw a bunch of cool books today and I'm debating buying them. Also the person there said they just got a huge donation of new books that they're bringing in that are really good. So I might cave and buy some. But the thing is they're only $2. Like for these hardcover, like very nice quality books, 
two dollars it's a win it's a win so i can buy my books and i can have the new book happiness new book serotonin but also not spend all of my money 10 out of 10 recommend get a library card head to your local library especially if you're a college student yes it's also good to take a little walk for your silly little mental health snaps snaps all around okay i've been talking too long i have to do work bye <laughs>